Floyd off, guys. This is what I give up to do videos. Hey, so this is Dane. If I can get down in here and look at this, this is Dane, Joni Guitars. Um, I want to do an experiment. I heard that uh, you could soften the the act, you know, the structure, the molecular. <laughs> I love that. You can soften wood with ammonia uh, to make it more bendable. Now, I have tried. Uh, well, I this is about the three three five. I did. I already did one ES three three five copy for a client. And it worked out fine. I used a steam chamber to soften the 1 16th thick three piece ply uh, sides. Um, grab this piece of wood right here. This is a piece of 16th inch thick mahogany. This piece of mahogany, however, is quarter sawn. The, um, the reason I chose to quarter saw this was uh, for more strength and stability after glue up because uh, with the uh, flat sawn, rift sawn, whatever it was, sawn maple that I used on the previous one, uh, it all it all bent and glued fine. But I took it out of the out of the mold, which is this thing right here. Took it out of this mold. Uh, I have video of this build up, and you'll recognize this from that build if you've watched those videos. Um, took it out of the mold and it was great the first day, the second day things, you know, even it was all bent into a guitar side shape thingy, right? The nice tight, uh, little Mickey Mouse ear type thing here. And, uh, they started to twist on me. So I had to, I got right on it and put them in my mold to hold everything stable. So anyway, I was just digging out all the parts for that particular build. Let me dig through here. I just have all these different parts that I used along the way to uh, to facilitate the build. Half a pig head uh, shape. Oh, even says right on there, three three five. So anyway, I'm not going to use that pig head shape on this one. Um, so this is an experiment. This is a long introduction to tell you that I'm experimenting. I'm going to soak this in ammonia, and I'm going to uh, you know bend it around here now. Like I said, with the maple, I use steam. I've already tried doing this on previous tests. These little guys here uh, pull in here to uh, to bend that. I don't know if that's even in the camera. Uh, well, my hands are in the way. There you go. So that pulls in there. This, uh, this pulls down in the waist. So I am, uh, I am putting a respirator on. I have the ammonia right here. I don't know how it's going to react with galvanized. I, I built this little tray initially to boil uh, this mahogany and because the steam box didn't get it quite hot enough, I thought maybe boiling it would. I'm going to put my respirator on. I'm going to pour some of this in here and see what it does. I suppose I could look it up and see if there's any reaction between ammonia and galvanized metal. Um, but gee, it's so much more fun to experiment. I could also open my door, but it's, well, you know, it's, it's only about 40 out. So that's not so bad. And, uh, I have goggles. That would probably be a good idea. Here we go. <clears throat> I also have gloves that I'll put on here when I pull the wood out of it. I don't see any immediate reaction. So one way to tell my bench isn't terrible at all is that it's all on that end.
Well, it doesn't appear to be doing anything. The other thing I don't know, it does, it does irritate the eyes. Opening the door. Okay. So, it doesn't appear to be reacting with the galvanized that I can tell. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. I don't know how long this is supposed to be in. I'm going to start with about five minutes, so I'm checking. I got uh, 20, 20 to 4 right now. So, at quarter, I will come over. And it's uh, loading, of course. Probably give it about two and a half and then flip it over so that I know both sides are saturated. I'm going to go over and wax the fixtures, which are clamped over here anyway. Yeah, that's very potent. I have all flipping it around. I'm going to check this just to see. It doesn't feel really any different. The color's bleeding out into the ammonia. So I'll flip it over. I'll let it go another few minutes. Check it again. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Uh, I'm feels pretty soft. I, well, I shouldn't say it feels really soft. Well, a little bit removed from the uh, the tray with the stuff. So, although the whole shop smells now, um, I am uh, at 20 minutes, and it feels like it's getting softer, and that it would probably, I think it will probably bend. I'm going to leave it in for another 10 minutes. And, uh, and it says it's gonna, one of those things is gonna have to go slow, I believe. So none of, none of these bends are gonna be a stretch, you know? This isn't gonna be difficult. This bend right here is gonna be the one. So into the, the cutaway and over the horn. And um, the last time I did this with maple, I actually started here and sucked it in I have a clamp that goes, got this mask halfway on my face. Got a clamp that goes, okay. We got a clamp that goes in here, uh, specifically for this, a hole right here. And then it goes into the end of this block here. And uh, we'll pull that and pull that in. Um, it's going to take a while to suck that in. And then I will have to take quite a while to bend that around. So I'm thinking about starting right here, actually, and then bending this one down. And I have a clamp that goes there, uh, which is right here, and which will hold that down there. And then, and then come back once it's straight down there, and then just slowly pull this one in. Uh, and these clear each other if this is lined up with the, the lines that are on the mold here and uh, pull that in. So, I think that's what I'm going to try. You, whether it works as far as the right direction to bend in or not, I don't know, but it will still tell me if I can soften the uh, mahogany enough with uh, ammonia to, to make this process work. And, uh, and I only have a single layer here, and these things were designed to clamp up on three layers. And I initially did that. Uh, I steamed all three pieces of maple at once, and I will probably try to soften all three pieces of mahogany once, although I was thinking about doing them individually. Um, but if, uh, if it pulls in, it's, it all, it's almost as if they help support each other in the bend when you've got several layers coming together. So let's we'll see what happens. All right, well, here we go. I'm going to uh, go grab this out of the tank. And I think the uh, one benefit to this, if it works, is that it's not hot. And I don't have to worry about it cooling off. And uh, so I'm trying to figure how much overlap I might need. Still have plenty. Oh, yeah. Got, got plenty. Start right here. And I'm very, very gently pushing down on that. It's not, not terribly stiff, but I don't want to rush it. Because there is a little bit of a tight apex right there. Oops. This process probably would be helped by 
two people. But my processes generally go on one person. So now this won't be as won't have as much a tendency to rock when it's a full width piece. The uh, pieces are pretty much the width of this mold. This obviously is not that wide. So, and I'm very close. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with pulling that down. Okay, it's also not 3 16 thick. Oh, while we're talking about thickness, you know, I'm gonna take this off and put this tray outside. I miked the dry piece and it was 60 thousandths and I miked the wet piece and it was 68. So it has swelled up a bit. So that could cause a little bit of a problem once the, uh, um, once all three pieces are stacked up. So I may have to bend a couple at one time and then, and then lay a third in after they've had a chance to dry out. Um, all right, so here's that. I'm gonna get a clamp just to hang on this so that it has some weight on it. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just stick a... It's always good to have extra crap laying around. <laughs> it's one way to justify the mess. So I got this hacksaw that wasn't being used for anything. All right, that's hanging there. Now let's go ahead and see if we can push this down without also wondered if throwing a little heat on it now would be expedient in any form, but very possibly not. It's like watching grass grow. I don't want to find out how fast you can go before it breaks. And another moment when having a third hand would be helpful. I'm going to roll this block up a little bit. Well, it's bending. Don't want to get too happy meal yet here. I said this being skinny is not helping because it's none of this stuff wants to center up. Well, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this clamp up a little bit. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of a splinter at the back of this bend here, so I might be might be taking it just a little too quick, or I might just soak the other ones, you know, for an hour or something. I don't know that it matters. I mean, I don't know if you can overdo it.
After all, this is just an experiment. Well, okay. Whoops. I guess I need that one now anyway. It's sucked in nice and tight. This looks great around here. Um, I obviously, I have a gap right here because this is not filling this up, but I don't see where that would be a problem in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the actual uh, clamping, you know, the actual sides. Well, I'm going to call that a success.